Hey, how's it going? Um, so this is Jason Myers, you know, one of the co-founders of Micah. And I thought I'd just do a video um, just showing you like how Micah, how I use Micah. Um, all right, so let me share my screen real quick. Should take two seconds. Okay, so basically, basically Micah is like instrumental for me. You know, it, it, it's, it's a program that was created for from like exact level folks with crazy lives for exact level folks with crazy lives and exact level folks that like know about AI. So we use a so we put AI in in the product because why not right because let's automate things and make life easy. So but let me just show you what the flow is for me. Um, so this is my mica. This is like my actual mica. So if you see anything, it's a little messy today actually, but. Basically, for me, like, I start with the plan, right? So the plan is, is, is where you put all the stuff. It's like the encyclopedic state of, like, your world and life. And then perform is like a focus place where anything you star will just show up and perform. And then you could just knock it out, knock it out, knock it out. You're not really supposed to add stuff and be changing stuff in perform. Perform is like checklist mode so I can crush, right? But plan is really where you think and you plan. So you start the day, I start the day. Like if I was to close everything, I use this button to collapse all. I, I separated my life into three sections, right? It's my self, the, my professor life and my Jaseki life. Jaseki is like this AI thing that I'm really building that's awesome. Um, and you can kind of go into each one, but basically whenever I work, I think about, well, what life do I want to be thinking about? And I'll use this drill mode where I can drill in. And then it's like, I only see that world in this kind of drill mode view, which is cool. And then it'll show me the start stuff, the focus stuff, the crush stuff for drill. And then I have the whole plan for drill. So like I'll plan here, right? Uh, and you know, I'll go through, add stuff, remove stuff uh, here. And sometimes I'll just work in this mode when I'm like, okay, I'm gonna shut out the rest of the world. I'm only gonna work on my Jaseki stuff, right? And then if I'm like, oh, Joseki has an education piece. Actually, I only want to, my whole world right now is the education piece. So I'll drill in here and then I'll just crush stuff here and I'll actually do some planning, some note taking, you know, um, you know, you can open the notes. I've got notes here um, and just work in this mode. When I want to do a top level, like perform, that's where I go to this page because this is an aggregate of all the stuff I want to crush. It also shows all the rituals in my life. And I have these rituals like email burn through, action plan, entropy management. These are my day-to-day -day rituals. So I need to do this every day. And it comes back every day, uh, no matter what. So like I read this mantra that I wrote for myself because it's actually really useful to steer my thoughts to be productive and grateful. This helps with rumination, like if, I, if I'm like, oh, why did I do that thing? Oh my God, I should have did it better. I should have did this other thing. I'll be like, oh, to steer my thoughts, to be productive and grateful, to steer my time, to make every minute meaningful, to steer my choices, to encourage growth. You gotta be uncomfortable to grow. So like, I'll, I'll just do those three. Like typically whenever I'm stressed or like my head needs to be centered. And then this is my little, this is my little meditation mantra thing. So I'll be like, you know, pause let go, be present. And that's like my meditation thing. And that's really to refocus. And then I have these other ones that I never do. So I just put it at the bottom because this, these actually don't help me as much uh, to see my environment, to make my surroundings inspirational. Yeah, I just don't, I don't put the work in. So I, you know, and then to steer my, what enters my, to compel enrichment of body and mind, mind and body. Like these are other optional ones, but these are actually the three that actually like guide me right and most importantly the top one because it's it's what's in our head that drives us. anyway whatever that's a lot on the man mantra um but i'll just check through i'll check through these right so if i go through my inbox i'll check off email burn through once a day i try to do an email burn through action plan ent entropy management is what i call it but it's really making sure my plan makes sense and is accurate to what my plan actually is so make sure that there's no junk in here so i'll check that out uh, and then what else? Uh, validate state of focus. I'll be like, are these the right things I want to focus to the, on today? And then read mantra just to center. So like, that's kind of my flow. Now, 
there's something I do, and then there's journal. I don't really use this. I should, but you can actually have a daily journal that you can, like every day you can go back and see what you journal that day. I don't really use it because, you know, my life is weird and I guess I don't value my experiences enough. No, I'm just joking. Anyway, so that's, that's really my flow. Um, so I also use this a lot and I use it for popping up. Because as you're grinding, you do lose perspective. Like you will, because things are gonna come into your plan. Oh, I gotta do this thing. Oh, such and such asked me for this. Such and such asked me for that. Oh, I gotta do this, that, and the other thing. And then you're doing all this stuff and you really don't know what the heck you're doing. Like you could be crushing it and not know if you're doing the right stuff. So, so I'll use, oh, past is cool. Ling Jia uses past a lot to look at you know, like analytics of how she's performing. Uh, I don't end up using it though so much. I'll use like this a good bit. And this is the weekly and monthly. So this is, I use this for popping up. It's like goals, right? So you can actually add goals at a weekly level or a monthly level. And what it's really kind of a, a higher level to-do list for me. It's like, all right, let's ignore the plan and ignore my present focus, my, my, my focus perform page. What do I really deep down want to really say I did this week? Or what do I deep down really want to say I did this month or this year? And you can make those lists in this mode. And you can actually link, you can link your actual daily to-dos to these goals, which is really, really useful if you really care about that full deep actualization and, and execution. But I have to do this to keep my sanity because there's so much anxiety that happens with all the different things that I do that sometimes I feel overwhelmed even though I'm tracking. Like that helps a lot. Plan and perform helps a lot with that craziness. But even when it's, sometimes I'm like, I don't feel like I'm doing the right stuff. So I'll pop up, not look at anything. I'll just think in my heart and gut what is it that matters to me this week? What do I really want to say I did this week, right? And I do it for the week and the month, typically. So like, you see this just like infra polish. Like if this month I polished the infrastructure, just like the infrastructure, that'd be awesome. And then if I get the infrastructure around the course that I'm teaching, it's a free course of teaching uh, pro bono uh, to 181, two people in Guyana, which is awesome. But if I get that on point this month, that'll be, that's matters. And then documentation for Giuseppe, like that's another. So it's very just, you can see my life is very giuseppe up, but that's kind of like my flow, my actual usage pattern. And so what ends up happening is this becomes indispensable because I'm lost without it, right? Because the full state of everything in my plan is here. You know, I need to like, Sometimes I need to drill in and just spend time in a particular world. And if I'm really crushing it for Jaseki, I'll be in this mode or I'll, I'll zoom into like key development. This is like code stuff I need to do. And there's one here that's focused. And so I'll just be in this world and I'll be crushing, crushing, crushing. And then I'll pop up, like you can just pop up to the higher level and then see the relevant to do's at the higher level. And then when you go back to the day, to the full day view, you can go to perform and you see it across categories. So this is like for the course, this is a, you know, for my actual professor course and stuff. So it's like, anyway, so that's kind of my flow. That's how I use it. Um, cool. Uh, it changes over time. So if I, if my usage pattern like evolves, I'll let you know. Anyway, that's all. <laughs> um, cool. So uh, hopefully that's helpful for anyone who wants to kind of jump in and see if they can get to that machine level actualization crushage, but it's indispensable in my life and it's responsible for a lot of my ability to execute in general. So um, that's my mica.